Welcome back to another episode of Exponential Africa, where we are fortunate enough to be with Kathy Wood, who's the co-founder and CEO of ARK Invest at the Exponential Finance Summit in Cape Town, having a conversation about investing in disruptive innovation. Kathy, welcome to the show. I'm delighted to be here. Great conference, beautiful city. I wanted to ask you, you know, why did you, can you explain to us why you actually started ARK Invest? Yes, I started ARK for two reasons. One was to focus only on disruptive innovation. And a part of the reason for that is I see a big void in that space right now because of all the move to index-based investing and because a lot of large asset managers have are looking in the private space for innovation. But in order to scale exponentially, you have to be in the public space. So that's one reason. And the second reason was to open up our research. We have an open research ecosystem uh, to the point where we are now posting models like our Tesla model we just posted on GitHub so that we can collaborate with people out there who may feel differently or may know more than we do about uh, certain things. So it's, it, it's uh, pretty interesting. That's pretty amazing. I mean, I read a lot of your stuff. Before, before actually meeting you, I had been following your, uh, your, all your research for like two years. So it's been, it's it's been, been really fantastic. helpful and valuable for, for us, even in South Africa and Africa. Fantastic. Love it. And I mean, how have you seen these the things change from when you started your career in finance and, you know, and, and managing all these different funds to, to today? So I started uh, really more than 40 years ago in the business and we're a little bit back to the future now. What we're doing is back to the future because the business has changed in the early days. We were doing real research, looking way into the future. Today, there's a bunch of index-based investing, very short-term time horizons, analysts looking at next quarter or next year, but not five or 10 years from now. So what we're trying to do is extend the time horizon to help people understand how many opportunities there are to capture exponential growth. Wow. So it's just changing faster and faster yes. and faster. And you're yes. seeing this uh, like in, in, in all these different industries, right? Absolutely, absolutely. We see five innovation platforms evolving at the same time. You have to go back to the late 1800s, early 1900s to see multiple innovation platforms at the same time that were going to transform everywhere in the world, telephone, electricity, internal combustion engine. Today, we have five, but we haven't had multiple platforms between that time and today. Today, we have DNA sequencing, robotics, energy storage, artificial intelligence, and blockchain technology. Each one of those is going to be multiple trillions of dollars in market capitalization and stock markets, we think, in the years ahead. I mean, that's so exciting. I mean, the, the economies are going to grow at scales that we can't even really understand yet. We can't. I mean, I, I showed in a presentation here this morning that mobile payments in China have gone from $1 trillion in 2014 to $26 trillion in 2018. That's up 26 times in four years. And we're gonna see a lot more exponential growth like that. Some of it starting with the emerging markets and, and China uh, as they basically uh, put in place infrastructure, in this case, financial infrastructure, that wasn't there before. Now we can do it with technology. Just carry a bank in our pocket. Wow, so, inc so incredible. You know, you talk a lot about Tesla in, in, in some of your research. Why, why do you say Tesla is undervalued? So Tesla is our highest conviction name. Uh, as the most undervalued company in our portfolio, we believe, with the exception of some of the genomics companies. Uh, and the reason is because the traditional world uh, is, is very siloed and analysts can only follow one thing. In this case, the auto analysts follow Tesla. Auto analysts are following Tesla. Tesla is a technology company, not an auto company. Auto analysts are very uncomfortable with technology, right? Yes. Uh, it moves too fast and their world is very mature. Uh, Tesla, we believe, is going to be the reason that electric vehicle sales go from 1.4 million units globally last year to what we believe will be 26 million in five years, in wow. 2023. And what's, what the, the reason for this is battery 
PAC system technology costs are falling so that uh, an electric vehicle, the average electric vehicle, will be a lower in price in two years, we believe, than the average gas-powered car, and will continue to fall in price. In five years, five to six years, we see 15,000 US dollars as the average price for an electric vehicle, whereas a, a gas-powered vehicle will still be at 25 to 26,000 wow. dollars. That's the first reason. And the second reason uh, we think auto analysts are getting this wrong is they do not believe in the concept of autonomous vehicles, certainly not in the next two to three years. Uh, we believe that Tesla is well on its way to delivering an autonomous vehicle and that autonomous vehicles are going to change cars from this one and done, you purchase it up front and there's no more business except for services, to a recurring revenue model like ride sharing. Uh, that is a completely different model from the auto model. Recurring revenue models, trans uh, transportation as a service, software as a service models are hugely profitable uh, companies. Uh, auto companies are not. So they're not even uh, following this uh, in the way we think they should as a very software centric, high margin model. They've got a very hardware centric, very low margin model. So it's night and day. What advice would you give entrepreneurs that are looking to start the next Tesla? What's worked for me is you want to, of course, hire the talent that has one foot in the new world and buys into the mission and the dream. Critical, right? Critical. And then you want to give them a lot of responsibility, make them accountable. Uh, these people are usually very young people coming out of schools that are teaching them, you know, the leading edge of technology. So, you know, let them use their energy and excitement to take the company to levels that it will not go without these young people. And the other thing, I think, in terms of uh, bringing in the right talent. It must be multidisciplinary. You can't have this siloed view of the world. The world is going, uh, if you listened this morning to the presentation, either collaborative or cooperative. And uh, you need multidiscipline, you need people understanding, you need the genomics analyst, which knows the brain, uh, to work with the neural network technology yeah. uh, guy who understands neural networks because they can help each other. So I think that's really important. Harness their energy, harness their knowledge, and let their creativity go. What advice can you give avid investors when, when, when they're looking to invest? Well, one thing to avoid are the indexes. The indexes, like in the US, they'd be the S&P 500, global be MSCI World. Those indexes are populated today with what we believe are going to be value traps because they're gonna be disrupted by all of the platforms that I just mentioned. So do not put all your eggs in the indexed world. In fact, I have no eggs there. I want to be in the innovation um, world. It is not represented well by portfolios out there. And I'm, I don't think I'm supposed to be selling ours, but that's all we do. And that's why I founded the company. It's because yeah. we, need, we know that the ground is shifting underneath us. Everybody knows that, and they know they're not positioned correctly to capitalize on it. So that's what we've tried to do at ARC. No, thanks so much. So interesting. We could be, we could be talking here for days. Uh, thanks so much for your time. Thank and you, this, Nick. Was, this was a fantastic talk on you know, what to invest in, what to look at the, the new technologies. Hope you enjoyed the show, and uh, make sure to tune in and subscribe to Exponential Africa, and keep smiling.